Hello everyone. Today we will see how to implement Fibonacci series in UiPath Studio. Given a number n, the nth Fibonacci numbers are the numbers in the following integer sequence, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144 and so on. In mathematical terms, the sequence f of n of Fibonacci numbers is defined by the recurrence relation, f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 with seed values as f of 0 equals 0 and f of 1 equals 1. To understand how the numbers are generated, let's take n as 8, so the series that will be generated is as follows. The first two values are fixed as explained earlier that is, 0 and 1. The third value is derived by adding the first place and zeroth place value which is 1 plus 0 equals 1. The fourth value is derived by adding the second place and first place value which is 1 plus 1 equals 2 and so on till n. Now let's implement what we understood in UiPath Studio. I have created a sequence and made it as the start node by attaching it with the start. First let's create the variables that we will be using and assign the default value as required. This will make the process of generating the Fibonacci series much easier. First we will create seed values that are int1 and int2 with default values as 0 and 1 respectively. Next create int3 variables that will store the sum of the previous two values. Create a fib store string type variable to store the generated series. Next we need a variable to recur in the loop let's name it as c t r and assign its default value as 2 because the first two values are fixed as seed values. Next we will create a variable to get the input from the user for the value of n. Now let's close the variable panel and double click on the created sequence. To get the value 4n from user drag and drop the input dialog activity. As one value is minimally required in the series we will enter the title as enter number greater than 0 in double quotes. Type enter number in double quotes in the label section. Keep the input type as the text box. To store the value provide the name of the variable n. Now let's think the user entered value for n as 1 so for that we need to display the first seed value which is 0. So, in the then section of the if loop drag and drop the message box activity and provide text as int 1 dot to string. In the else section add the both seed values to the fib store variable, this will provide the output for the n variable equals 2. Using the assign activity. Make sure to add dot to string to convert integer data type to string. Next for the value of n greater than 2 we need to recur through the values and add the two values, 
so for that let's drag and drop a while loop activity. Provide condition for it as ct are less than n. Let's drag and drop assign activity and store the addition of int1 and int2 and int3. Now we need to swap the values for the next iteration, so drag and drop assign activity and store the value of int 2 into int 1, and in the next assign activity store the value of int 3 in int 2. To update the value of added term in the series append the fib store variable by using another assign activity and provide the text as of the value in the fib store plus a space and int 3 dot to string. Drag and drop the assign activity to increment the value of CTR by 1 each time. Outside the L section add a message box activity and provide text as FIP store to display the series. Click on Run File from Debug File drop down. Let's check first output by entering value as 1. Now let's enter 2. Now, 3. Let's enter 8 as we used in explanation. As shown all values of n provided accurate output. If you found the content of this video interesting make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.